All right, good luck. Uh, we got Senta here, so we're going to play Third Foul Rook, like I was uh, commenting on earlier, that I did want to play a Third Foul Rook opening. Um, <laughs> so, how does this go again? Um, this is embarrassing. Let's close this diagonal. Um, we'll play Rook over here already. And tuck the king into the corner. Um, hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's tuck the king in once more and then push the edge file pawn to deal with this bishop advancement idea. Um, I'm supposed to bring my silver out too. Um, actually biting my lip a little bit just being tremendously nervous about what's going to happen next here um because i'm very confused let's bring the silver out and up, and maybe into the center, but I'm not totally sure if I want to move it right in front of my pawn. Right, and this is what I was confused about. Um, how do we counter this thing? Well, we saw we have one more idea here that could be interesting. Oh, but I'm supposed to have my silver up on the edge already if I'm going to do that. And it's still risky regardless. Hmm. Alright, this is concerning. So, I've done a similar attack once, but I've also, when I do this sort of thing, I usually push the third file pawn also. Which might or may not, might not make sense uh, if I can speak today. Um, so usually I prefer to build Mino. Uh, Mino ain't happening here. No, I'm confusing this with the Anaguma video that Morinaka put out. Explaining how you could build a special style of um, the Anaguma castle that you could use a silver to help defend on the edge. That's not the castle that we've built today. Um, we'll put pressure on this file and consider opening it up to get a pawn in hand. Note that if I push the pawn again, um, well, sometimes this allows them to build up a strong shape. But here they don't have their goal, their general lifted up to defend this just yet. So if I were to force a pawn exchange, they'd have to drop a pawn right back here, my rook could drop back. And then the night out, I could play the Ishida style third file rook. The thing that's throwing me off is that against other opponents, I've been able to play bishop 5 5 here. Against or this position, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. What I'm confusing is if I can push this, pawn takes, rook takes, silver moves up. 
So yeah, they can actually combat my rook pretty effectively. Um, but in other positions, I've been able to do bishop 5-5, five, five, but not here. Um, so that's not so much of a threat here. Uh, so yeah, if I do this, I help, I'm helping them build Yagra, which is not smart. Um, although if they do build it, I could stop them from pushing this pawn. Unless I have the move order wrong. Well, I'm curious. Curiosity killed the cat, but... Well, there's no reason for me to rush this either. Um... Hmm... <laughs> Hmm. I mean, what are they going to do? This is so mystifying to me. If I push the pawn, pawn takes, rook takes, silver up, rook cheats. If they put a pawn here, I could push this pawn, stopping that. If they push this instead of push, putting a pawn here... I could drop a pawn on the silver's head. So I get some initiative there. But that initiative would be faster if I put this if I interpolate this. Allowing me to put my bishop on the edge and hit this. Um maybe I have this exactly backwards though. Because now they can push their rook pawn. They just choose not to. Um, yeah, I'm confused. I want to see this play out. It's pretty clear I'm confused. Oh! Oh my goodness. I have a pawn in hand. They do not. They're okay with this. What does this mean? What in the world? I expected the silver to move. Um, that's confusing. They have a position that's better dealt or that can better anticipate a bishop exchange than mine can. How far back does my rook need to retreat for this to make any sense? Um, if I go back two, I'm trying to defend the rank, but they're just going to push this immediately. Um... Jeez, this is interesting. Um, okay, we're going to try this. I don't fancy my chances to stop this pawn push. So we'll find some other way forward.
Okay, I actually need this gold to support the center square. We have a complex position in front of us today. Okay, so now they deal with my one threat of opening this diagonal. Interesting. What defends this pawn? Uh, potentially the silver does. <sighs> um, my silver's not doing anything where it's at. It's serving one responsibility, but... Yeah, now I want them to choose if they're going to block their bishop or not block their bishop. Um, so they're not blocking their bishop. This pawn is still a weakness. What defends this pawn? Other than the notion that, like, a rook on the fifth rank is a target. What specifically defends this? I'm guessing the rook is what's going to defend this, but this makes uh, the game interesting. If the rook has to move off of this file, then my silver can move and I can start shuffling my castle again. Or consider bringing out the knight to strike this too. Um, it's true my bishop's out of action. But, um, yeah, I'm just confused. They would love to have a rook here. I just don't see a way they can obtain it. I'll just quickly check the stream looks okay. It does. All right, um, so I could take here and then put the pawn, well, then they could use the rook to defend this. Uh, interesting. Okay, how do we respond to this? Um... That is a strong attacking idea. Oh. I have a strong defensive idea. This will be okay. This pawn's pinned. So it's a good idea to bring in another defender. It's just I have an idea that meets that idea. So now I have three pieces attacking this square. My king is in the fray here. This is crazy, but I don't see what they do. And it's 
absolutely it would be risky for me to just exchange everything here. And I don't think the reward is worth the risk if I'm trying to, like, exchange silvers, exchange rooks. That opens up tremendous holes on my half of the board. Um, admittedly, their castle looks very similar. So it'd be dangerous for both of us. Um, but I don't think I want to exchange everything here. I just want to apply pressure. I'm still not sure where everything's going to go. <clears throat> um, plus, if I do silver takes, silver takes, rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes, rook, it's their turn. And they can drop the rook back here. So I want it to be my move um, after exchanges occur. I think what all this is adding up to is <laughs> some notion that even if I win the pawn, they just drop a pawn back here. Oh, but then I pin that to their bishop. This is so confusing. This is double swinging rook. We've castled our kings on opposite corners of the board. Um, it's left a very interesting shape where we're both very exposed. Um, yeah, what can you do? But this whole time I've been trying to provoke them to see, like, What's your plan? Please tell me so I can be prepared for it. And I think they've been doing kind of similar. Um, I think they're going to push this silver pawn and bring the silver up to kick my rook. Or they might do something more aggressive and direct, but that would surprise me. Or they might push this one and bring something else, like, I don't know, gold to attack my rook. I don't know. But my plan here is silver up, silver up, and then I collect this pawn. And then my rook just activates up the file. No, actually, that's crazy. Um, I don't want to attack on the side where my king's at. This is risky. Um, this was all ill-considered. <laughs> I was so excited about it. Um, but the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. My bishop's not defended. If I could spend even a single tempo to defend my bishop like they've done with theirs, maybe I'd be happier. But then our position would be symmetric. Okay. Interesting concept. If I take, they could bring the silver forward and drop a pawn up, and then bring the silver forward again, my rook has to move again. Um... Hmm. <sighs> what do we do? Well, either way, they're bringing the silver up. It's just a question of, do I want the pawn or do I want a tempo? What could I do with a tempo? Not much. Huh. So I guess I want the pawn. It's not so appetizing anymore. That's clever. Um... Could move the rook over. They could defend this, or they could bring a piece up. And uh, I have to make decisions. Huh. Rook over is not so bad. 
all things considered. Rook to the corner, pawn push, uh, forces my rook to move again. That's not smart. Um, rook over, pawn push again. It's interesting. Yeah, I want the tempo. So rook over, silver up, silver takes, silver up, rook takes silver. Pawn takes rook, silver takes pawn, forking bishop and rook. They move the rook to safety, I guess over here. I take the silver, knight takes, I have two bishops for a rook. I also have a bishop for the rook, and the rook's going to promote. Um, and I don't have any trick. Yeah, I need my rook to defend stuff. Getting a bishop for all that's not going to make sense, so I have to proceed this way. Um, even though this is quite awkward. Right, so I've given up a pawn in the set. Oh! I did not think they would do this immediately. Um, because now I have this thorn in their position that cannot be removed. Strange. Yeah, this is a lot to think about. I'm debating do I want to drop a pawn on 4 or 5? Which literally would drop the pawn. Um, it's the most aggressive possibility, but... I'm just finding it hard to justify. Yeah, I should push this bishop pawn. This traps my bishop further if I push the bishop pawn. But deals with the rook moving Seven over here. Deal. Yeah, this is the aggressive way for me to continue. Eventually, I'm going to threaten to move the pawn forward again and break the castle. Um, that's going to be a long ways coming, but eventually that's the idea. Um, in the interim, I'll have to defend against whatever they throw at me. 
which could be very unpleasant. But we have this thorn, cannot be removed. So no matter what, that's going to be something of interest. It's just concerning if pieces exchange and I've opened up a hole right in front of my bishop. Um, having a pawn in hand is useful. Uh, although here, like, its main utility might be to force a silver exchange, but where am I going to put my silver after it exchanges? I don't know. There's not a lot of places to put a silver in my opponent's position in their camp. So I'm not super motivated to exchange the silvers, because this is actually a useful defensive piece. Yeah. My opponent wants to exchange even without me sacking a pawn here. But I want to put my silver right back here because it's useful here. Um, Is it too late for me to bring my rook up, knight behind it, or say bishop behind it, and exchange bishops and have the knight behind the rook? Bishop drops, my rook's trapped. Yeah, okay, so that's not going to work. Um, oh, okay, what I'm really threatening right now is to bring the knight out and then put it right in front of the silver and use it to launch an attack right in front of the king. I can even go through the edge to approach this. It's that rapid of an idea. Um, huh. This instigates a rook exchange, but a rook exchange allows me to attack from behind. Um, If they bring the silver up, I can attack their rook. The silver's only defended by the rook. But I can't chase the rook forever, so actually this coming up is fairly strong. Ah, oh, I've invited trouble by pushing this. Um, but this also does give me the a foothold for my knight, if ever the knight has time to advance, which it doesn't. Uh, yeah. This is so... Yeah, this pawn push was unsound and encourages the silver to attack, although this is a defensive silver. Hmm... Yeah, we're going to see lots of tactics here, aren't we? Because my best play is to lift my castle to separate their rook from their silver. The rook's going to take my pawn with check. My silver comes forward to oppose this. Huh. I wouldn't move this. Because if you exchange these silvers, I'm going to bring the knight out, drop my other silver here. This is... Not sound. That's one thing I could do. Another thing is I could just move the silver out of the way toward your king. 
Your attack has to be faster than mine for this to work. Um, I believe in my attack. Yeah, we're going to chance it. We're going to go into the fray. With both of us entering Byoyomi, 60 seconds. Um, but yeah, I want to bring my knight out through the edge and start attacking. I have a pawn in hand. I could consider bringing my other knight to this edge here, but that greatly, severely weakens this hole in front of my king, and it weakens my edge, so I can't do that. I consider it, but it's not happening. Um... Yeah, this pawn here is currently... Well, they can't attack it anymore. I've covered the square. They, they have no way, no recourse back to attacking it. Um, hmm. They want to exchange silvers and drop one right here. So if they actually bring this back, I should strongly consider retreating yeah um doesn't mean i have to but i should strongly consider retreating or consider pushing this pawn and pushing this pawn pushing all the pawns chasing the rook hoping for some exciting story but that doesn't feel right oh i could drop back this way that could be interesting. It allows silver 5-5, five five, which is scary. Um, not ready for that. We're going to take some more time. Offer to repeat once. This is their best place piece. Why would they move it? Well, I said I believed in my attack, didn't I? Am I a person of my word? <laughs> I should bring the knight out and attack. Uh, that's the logical conclusion if I have no emotions. I have emotions. That's a problem. Hmm. <laughs> well... I'm too curious. We need to know what happens. Let's do it. Having emotions is a problem. So... Yeah, now with their bishop not defended, if they do offer a rook exchange, I can drop the rook back here, hitting the bishop and the knight. Um, so that's a weakness of bringing the bishop forward. <sighs> okay. Um... still have one pawn in hand. I I don't see any reason to deviate from what I've been doing this whole time. It's scary, but uh, that's not a reason. <laughs> a reason would be a sudden discovery that I could drop a pawn here with tempo. Um, 
Uh, but I much prefer my attacking idea to this. Um, I don't want a silver just yet. So this pawn drop might happen. Um, cutting the rook off and... Well, then I don't have a pawn to drop over here when stuff gets crazy. Um, hmm. Ah, they plugged the file. Good, I guess. I don't have to worry about... Um, I don't even know what. I think this is correct. My rook will eventually want this file. Um, my bishop will eventually want freedom elsewhere. But also I can like, threaten to exchange bishops, which could be interesting and confusing. I idly considered pushing my king's pawn and thought, well, no, that's scary. Let's not consider that. Let's forget that we ever considered it because it's too scary. Okay, that's what? Oh, they can bring their silver up behind the pawn. Okay, that's the idea. Um They could bring their rook behind the pawn, too. Okay, well, we'll have some interesting positions here, that's for sure. With their rook behind their pawn, they can choose to open this file against their king. Um, My king is so exposed. My king is so exposed, but I'm not the one putting a rook in front of my own king.
三十秒。四十秒。I don't know if what collecting the pawns even worth it, but um, I want to solidify this and give my king somewhere to escape while also threatening, like pursue their rook. Yeah, this is what I expected. Um, which is a bit spooky. I think this is right. I think this is crazy, but I think this is also correct. Um, so we finally identified the right moment to bring our pieces forward. So both of us are intending some sort of bishop five five drop. Um That puts uh, a problem in the way of the bishop 5-5 five, five drop idea. Uh, but now we have pieces to attack with. Um, That's clever. I didn't see that. I'm not thinking clearly. That was bad. Well, I'm sorry, that loses my rook. Doesn't mean it's bad. If they pursue this, they're threatening my gold. Um, they win a gold general, but I get to attack. So maybe it's okay. Fine. My Rick wasn't doing anything anyway. 
Rooks are beautiful pieces. I love to use rooks to attack. Here, my rook is not doing a great job. The problem is they take my bishop and then drop their bishop to hit my rook. Um, that's not what they did. All I care is that I get their bishop. I don't need my rook. I'm not using my rook. Sanchi Okay, got that played. Um, so my next idea was bishop five five. I think I still want to play bishop five five. Yeah, this is clearly a very good place for my bishop. They do repair their castle. Um, I guess we'll take the slants with tempo. And gradually try to find a way back toward their castle. Or we could drop the lance to win the silver. Um, it's kind of a Pyrrhic victory. How else do we attack here? We really don't. Their rook is trapped in front of their king, which is awkward. As long as I don't relieve their rook of the being trapped here. Um, This is sad. Uh, this is not the way I wanted my bishop to participate in this game. I'm gradually working toward the castle. Um, that makes sense.
Hmm. I have two pawns. I should use my pawns. Oh. Okay, well, this is not my brightest idea ever. It was an idea, it just... Lance takes is actually more effective than I thought it was. Um, right. So, although I have a threat to capture the lance, that's not my brightest idea ever. But the lance is a target. Uh, if I put the knight on 5-5, five, five, I'm forming a threat. It's just not the best threat ever. Um, geez, this is crazy. <sighs> wow. Okay. Uh, apparently, I'm in a sack happy mood at the moment. It's not good. My bishop is not useful. I'm sacking it. Um, I said I've given away my heavy pieces to pursue an attack. That I was just going to run out very quickly. Uh, I'm flustered with myself for this. But... Let's find the best move here. This has to be reasonably good. As long as we're always trading one piece for one piece, one piece for one piece, etc., this we have some chance of being able to continue attacking. It's when we run out of pieces that the attack runs out. Not when we run out of strong pieces, but when we run out of pieces. Right, so... Um... A piece is a piece, no matter how strong. What I'm super concerned about is he's going to put both rooks on my back rank, and I'm in severe trouble. So I need to attack very quickly. Um, oh, he could also place the bishop against my loose gold. That's a problem. Um, I'm in deep, deep trouble. Each time I place a piece, this narrows the possibilities of how I can use the remaining pieces. Um, this move surprises me. What's the... oh, okay, the knight could be useful to him. More likely he's just setting up a fork. Um, All right, my gold is loose. I could take a tempo, drop a pawn to protect it, or I could put a pawn in front of it to attack the rook. 
Uh, I've not trapped the rook. We give up our last pawn, although we'll be getting another pawn soon because I'm going to sack for this, even though I don't see a way to continue after the sack. I have to do it. Okay, they escape this madness. I wanted to sack here, but now with the rook there, it's not so appealing. Um, that should be more appealing now, shouldn't it? Yeah, the rook's a nice target in the center of the board. We should hit it. And if it retreats from the rank, that means we've claimed this rank and can start putting... Well, we can put a pawn here next, even if it doesn't retreat. More likely they take my gold, I take their rook. Um... But yeah, moving the rook is just running from an attack, which um, is not the best use of a tempo. It does save the rook. The rook is a nice piece. Uh, oh, could endanger my king pretty severely, too. I didn't consider that. I should have considered this. I was not thinking about this. Silver takes, they drop something, I run. They drop another thing, I keep running. I'm dead. Um, if my king runs right now, they take this. No, they drop a bishop here, I'm dead. I have to take this. Um, but yeah, now they drop. I have to run, but... Almost certainly I'm dead here, right? <laughs> Exchanging silver for gold is not going to improve my defense. Um, so I need to run. And they're going to try to confine my king as they should. And we'll see if I've just completely whiffed on this. Um, my concept is that I want to take this rook and hope that I have a mate. Okay, I'm in check. I have one legal move. We're playing the one legal move. Ah, confining the king. This is the insight that was 
needed to checkmate me here. Um, yeah, no, I think confining the king's probably right. You're eventually threatening a bishop drop somewhere around here. So the lance is probably the right piece to use. I could put a lance down to stop an immediate bishop drop. I could put a gold down to stop it. I should use a gold. If I'm not mated. Um, yeah, if they drop a lance, I can't take this rook because bishop drop mates me. Um... So I need to defend my king. I think this is the only defense. I'm not sure if this is good enough. I have two legal moves. One commits my king to... Um, they just move their knight and I'm surrounded. Um, hmm. Not in the worst of company up there. Um, Yeah, if I retreat, I'm probably dead. If I attack, um, I might live. I think this is the right play. So I stopped them. Oh, I missed that they have a gold drop over here. Oh, that hurts. Um, right, so yeah, I missed the gold drop mate in one. Um, so if I retreat, I mated. If I advance, I mated. That's checkmate. Nicely spotted. Um, yeah, good game. Thanks for the game. Wow. Uh, Alright. Well, that got pretty crazy. 
Um, oh, I'm sorry, I should... There's the handover yeah, host status button. Yeah. Yeah, that got pretty wild. All right. Um, yeah, since they had the gold in hand, that was actually made at the end. Um, I think in Thurfi struggles more when he doesn't push this pawn. Um, oh, when people don't push that. So, I had a recent game where this was problematic, and I couldn't figure out where to put the rook. Hmm. Oh, right. So... Huh. So I thought he was saying when people don't push this, um, this is when he gets in trouble. But no, this is... Yeah, I should have done this. This is... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be equal. He says he struggles more with this variation where the diagonal does close. Um... Although I don't under well, it you get a much more positional struggle here. Ah, uh, reason for rook six. I don't remember. Um. See, so yeah, I thought this is uh. So this point here, yeah. Um, uh, uh, not too sure about this pawn push uh, since I started attacking it. some point I did want to like cover this again um, so yeah as you say maybe I okay yeah Where you drop back uh, here and over, uh, hitting this. Uh, yeah, so he was also anticipating that. Um, And here I made things complicated. So, I'm 
<laughs> Since he's declined to swing the rook over and attack toward my bishop, I didn't know what he was up to. Um... Maybe I should be doing this instead. <sighs> like, I don't know what his attacking strategy is in this position. Because he's played the same compact castle that I've played. Um, his attack is advanced a bit further, but I don't know where it's ultimately going. Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Um, I guess we play this here. Uh, it's not so obvious how to continue. Hmm. Okay, so this is... Right, so this is how he can add more pressure to his attack. Well, then I've got this, right? So, yeah, he's able to bring his attack very quickly, and I am not so much. Oh, right, and he's got the pawn in hand, so the edge file attack is something to worry about also. That's cool. Uh... Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, like, I don't have a target. I want my rook behind his pawns, but it's very difficult to achieve. Uh, is it so interesting? Oh. I guess. Yeah, I was threatening to take the pawn, so he has to react somehow. Oh. Oh. He doesn't have this point covered enough, does he? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right, the bishop's trapped. Well, that hurts. So, okay. My intuition was decent here. Maybe not accurate, but um, at least I have a 
Yeah, I have an idea. I don't have a 5-5 five, five pawn like I prefer to have, but, you know, this seems to get the job done. This pawn move and the pawn drop behind it. This bishop is too exposed here. I guess this castle's just very heavily concentrated, and this bishop's kind of an easy or soft target. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. That's confusing and exciting. Uh, so there's some merit to what I did. Or rather, if I had played that first, that could have been... Uh, I could have used all of my pieces this game. Not just my rook. That would have helped activate my silver in the corner and, and participate in this battle. Um, instead I got excited about this possibility, which might also be good, um, despite my bishop being shut out. It's not like their bishop's doing any better just yet. Yeah. Yeah, but it was it was nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is another option. Yeah, okay, I could see this. Oh wait, wait, wait! Hang on. This is exciting. Um, <laughs> this might be too exciting. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, this could be uh something. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. So you've like left the bishop here on purpose because the knight defends it, but yeah, that's saying that you don't have many pieces remaining to attack with. Um, yeah. 
Hmm. It's so strange. <laughs> uh, a, a player who plays swinging rook openings but likes his pawns. I mean, the pawns make the positions complicated, so you gotta enjoy them. Um... Again, this stuff. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, this is a sharp position, but um. Yeah, I guess actually it's super hard to defend this. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a way to defend it. Just kidding. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why I pushed this. Just because I didn't have any way to defend against the rook move some other way. I could have moved my knight, but didn't think that worked. Still don't believe it works. Um. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, spawn drop uh, makes sense. Um, how do I combat this? I wonder. Sadly, my bishop's still undefended. So yeah, dropping the rook back to 7-9 instead of 7-8 might have changed. Well, this way they don't have a fork. The other way they would. Um... Uh, 
I was excited that, like, yeah, this is possible, but uh, I'm not entirely sure what's supposed to happen next. Can I do this? Um, and then put a pawn over here. Yeah, I've been like this pawn on the king's file is always terrifying. So you can't just completely ignore it. Um Yeah, I I whiffed. That knight move was not correct. Um Man, this would have been really nice. Uh, so now what? Oh, right, so I was considering this. Yeah. This looks much stronger than what I played. And the idea is if the rooks exchange, I have a rook drop on 4-1, uh, forking the bishop and knight, and in general just being a menace. Um, but if silvers exchange, my bishop's going to get chased around a bit. But that's okay if I get an active rook. I might have to sack my bishop to pursue an attack in the king. I'm not sure how I'd sack it. Uh, Shogi's complicated. Yeah, so this is tempting to... Uh, oh! Oh, that is really sharp. Yeah, this is another row the the notion that I'm have a very strong attack on their king is interesting. <laughs> Four golds is a lot of gold. Uh Um, oh, that's nice. Well, huh. Yeah, 
Yeah. This is... So thankfully I cover 5-5, five, five, and I can dive for the corner, like he points out. Uh, with tempo. We gotta <laughs> ask other folks about that end game. That's pretty nuts. Also pretty cool, but yeah. Hmm. Two people drop out. Or oh, sorry, one person enters, one leaves. My mistake. Yeah, <laughs> this will be fun little end game. <laughs> I'm sure she has some opinion. Other well, she her opinion might be, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, it's so, so fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. here uh maybe i'm tempting fate with such a thing but i like attacking um so Hmm, it's an interesting perspective. Hmm. To me, I, so, like, I'm threatening this sort of thing. Um. I mean, uh, am I missing something? Yeah. Maybe, oh. Okay, so you're considering some sort of bishop move here. Um,
something like that. Um, Yeah, okay, that check is strong. Uh, so I have to do something about it. Yeah. Take here instead. Yeah, we gotta take that. We got two rooks. <laughs> also, curious position. Yeah, that's special. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's too bad. If it is annoying, that's too bad. Hmm. It's just difficult to meet all the threats that he's setting out here. Yeah, I was just reaching the same conclusion that, wait, I think I might have buried myself in a position that only an engine could figure out. Humans could make strong efforts on this, but only an engine could solve it. Hmm... So this is in large part a consequence of my silver on 2.8 being inactive. Um, this is tricky too. Uh Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't believe. Yeah. It's also very complicated. Um, yeah, so... Oh, okay, yes. That's the right move. Um, if I get a gold, yeah, the gold I get would be very strong, but I don't think I'm getting a gold anytime soon. Yeah. I know in chess I've got a thing for trying to make positions more and more complicated. Uh, sure. But yeah, at some point, if it's over, 
the human players' heads. You have to turn to the engines to help solve that sort of thing. But yeah, lifting my rook is one possibility among others, and it's really sharp. My knight advance was not great at all. Because here... Uh, yeah. Yeah. We both entered Yoyomi, played a number of crazy things, and insanity resulted. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, I was looking for complicated things. Um, wow. Yeah, that... I like that. That is cool. Um, I guess because I was trying to complicate things, that's how I missed such a strong move. So yeah, we both had entered Biyomi and things got crazy. And this clears the position up and just exposes my knight, but maybe it's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have a tremendous initiative here. Yeah. So... Huh. This is all complicated. Yeah, there's something more like this is what I was looking at. Um, but still, um, like, he's able to mop up my pawn, and I'm not able to return the favor. So eventually this has got to start favoring him. Um, Okay, so yeah, I, this, yeah, this clearly is what I should have tried to do. Um, this or the other line where I just end up taking the pawn. Uh, yeah, wow. So, I'm so accustomed to playing positions where I don't have defensive moves available, but actually playing a defensive move that supports a later attacking idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually having this is surprising. Uh... So that was the key insight I needed. Yeah. Hmm. 
So, in Bioyomi, this is... I just completely ran out of ideas. Couldn't think of anything to do here. But this is wrong-minded. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's another idea here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was afraid of a lot of things for no reason. I guess it's harder for him to attack than I thought. Yeah, this... So, I guess I was beating myself up over... Um... I don't know, the night move. When really, all the night move... And guarantees is that eventually I'm going to have to push the pawn and exchange the knight and pawn. And I wasn't willing to do that, and I should have been willing to do it, and it didn't work out. Um, um, hmm. Well, that's. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know. There's a lot for me to learn. Yeah. So, I did play some interesting moves, but just did not evaluate. I don't know. King safety is hard to figure out. I just, I don't know. Like, I need to find ideas, and I was not finding anything. So, yeah, you protected your king, I exposed my king.
That pawn drop on 7-3 was epic. Uh, Let's see, so you ended up playing it where here? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Shogi's complicated. That's what makes it exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I need to give the host status back. It's just like super powerful having that pawn there. I might be confusing my loss to Destiny with my loss to Mifa. I don't remember, but either way, pawn at 7 4 is just crushing. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't like letting pawns go. Uh, but, um... I guess I'm willing to... Yeah. <laughs> uh, since it's super late for him, I'm willing to uh, continue analysis however long he wants to continue it, because, like, he's the one who's going to get fatigued first, but... Um, I don't know what else to suggest or analyze. Like, my attack fell apart. I don't know how else to say it or what else to say. It was a cool game. Um, 
lots of endgame chances are possible, but yeah, I... uh, end games are always tricky anyway. Um, I mean, I've got this right. Oops, uh, sorry, I meant to suggest this. Um... This is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh one of us is surviving this. Uh, the question is which one? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sharp. Yeah. That's a cool idea, too. Because, yeah, that gold does land with check, which might completely destroy my attack. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, and in the event that this does actually work, then, like, I should not have done pawn 7-6 in this variation, but simply take the promoted silver. And but I'm still down a rook, so I felt a need to do something here. Um. So we could analyze in detail just how this fell apart, but ay ay ay, so sad. I just couldn't reason anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, his attack is quite severe, and I don't have a good way to defend against it. Yeah. <laughs> it took 50 moves, but he got there. Yeah. I hope I've not been too stubborn in this post-game analysis. Uh... <laughs> uh... uh... Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's good that GLGR's uh, running this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, weeks past, we've had players above one Don. Um, I'm impressed by my performance here, but gosh, the the notion that I might have had a chance against a three Don is kind of nuts. I know we're all amateurs here, but <sighs> yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, he's saying he have a good rest of the day. He's apologizing and such, but it's like super ultra late where he's at. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do the traditional thank you for the game, have a nice day, etc. Since we do have spectators there who might not fully understand the English. But yeah, what a crazy encounter. Um, where Do I have any other comments here? Yeah, so this... Uh, because this hits this, he has to choose one or the other. And he chose this one. And I'm not sure what would have happened if you picked the other one. Um, I guess we'll find out next time we end up here, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll have to share this uh, on Shogi Harbor's uh, live stream. See what Shogi Harbor thinks of this too. So. Wow. What a game. What an analysis. So many ideas. So many resources. Just like, oh my goodness. It's amazing. Even though I got this very strong attack, he found a way to break it. And then crush my spirit. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And have a good day. <laughs>